What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Azus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're going to do Age of Wonders 4 again, but at 1440p. And it was already dropping under 60 before, so it probably will again no matter what I do. So, I'll just try my hardest to get the best settings I can get. Good old balance of graphics and frame rate. That's what I try to do. My settings are basically like in between performance and quality mode on consoles. That's what I would say. Because I don't want no 30 FPS on my laptop or desktops. I can forgive that on my, you know, handhelds, but I, don't, I like to get as close as I can to 60 on this thing if I can. But it doesn't always work out that way. But in any case, let's not waste any more time. Let's get that thing hooked up to the capture computer and get some gameplay. So, with this one, we're pretty much just gonna go with the same settings that I did at 1080p, 1440p, because like no matter what, it drops into the high 40s even on like low settings and whatnot, which sucks, but it is what it is. Figured 1440p was going to be a little harder to run, but on a game like this, it doesn't matter that much. But you'll see what I mean once we get into the game. So now here we are at 1440p. Now, a lot of the, sometimes, not a lot of times, but sometimes it'll get in the 60s, but more often than not, it's in like the high 40s to mid 50s in the FPS. But a game like this doesn't really matter that much. At least in my personal opinion. If you're like me and you're or like even more addicted to having 60 plus than I am, then I would just avoid this game for now. It might need some more patches, or maybe it just hates AMD or something like that. It could be something like that. Once we get to my main computer, we'll be able to tell. Like if my main computer can get like way more FPS than my secondary computer, even while doing 4K, by like a lot. Like I know the 4090 is faster than a 7900 XTX, but still. But I guess we'll find that out once we get to that. That is next, but first we gotta get done with this video. So let's just battle these guys a little bit and then we'll jump over to camera after that. What shall I do now? I'm trying to decide what to do. Let's slowly try to get closer to them. Try to bring them to me. I don't generally like going at things first if I can help it. Cause every time I try to do that, they just surround me and like, like destroy the shit out of my units. So I don't want that to happen again. So even though I'm outnumbering them, they could easily, if I make dumb decisions, destroy me and beat me. It used to happen to me all the time as a kid when I used to play the original one. All right, well, might as well start attacking them now. We're pretty close where all my units can kind of back them up and help them. Probably shouldn't have put these guys right between two units that can attack them, but it is what it is. All right, let's see. Let's get you guys a little closer, and I'm pretty sure they'll be able to hit them with, my, with the short bow thing by now. Yes. We gotta kill that thing. That thing's got a lot of life, and it probably does a lot of damage. So we gotta kill that thing before it's my their turn again. So let's use that weird spirit bolt on the motherfucker. Here we go. All 
All right, can I get those guys close enough to also attack? Oh, I think so. I think that it has to just be in that little white line. Hell yeah. It's probably just not going to do as much damage or miss. Yeah, grazed. Still, I'll take four damage over not doing any damage any day. All right, let's see. I guess all I can do is end her now, eh? Yep, seems like that's all there is to do. Independents are now uh, moving. Now we attack you again. Heck yeah. That is a victory. And now with said victory, let's just go and turn the camera on. All right, guys, let's get ourselves some camera recorded gameplay now. Summoning their own things, how dare they? They're not allowed to do that, only I'm allowed to do that.
end the turn. What are they gonna do now? Oh no. They've been strengthened. Figured not. But it was worth a try. Oh, you little bastard. How dare you? You leave my mind alone. hurt. But alright, I think that's plenty of camera recorded gameplay, so why don't we go wrap this video on up? Well alright guys, that's a wrap for H1 is 4 at 1443 and a wrap for the game all together on the Asus G15 Advantage. I was actually hoping for a little bit better performance. We were dropping under 60 on 1080p and 1440p, but whenever something's like that on 1080p I already know. 1440p is a lost cause, but it is what it is. With a game like that, it's not like that kind of FPS is unplayable. I just like 60 plus, that's just me. But I could still have fun playing this at either resolution and have total fun. I mean, I'd even have fun playing it on my handhelds, but I still think a game like this is best played keyboard and mouse. So when I actually start playing this game for real, I will more than likely play it on my secondary or primary computer or possibly my laptop, whichever one I feel like, as long as I'm using the keyboard and mouse. Just using a controller right now, because it's way easier to get footage with instead of trying to contort myself around a camera. Every once in a while though, I can use the keyboard and mouse, but then when it comes time for the camera to come out, I almost always have to use the controller. But it is what it is. It's not like this is a how I play the game. This is how the game runs, not 
how well how well I play because I'm not really that great at too many video games anyway so but I don't care I play them for fun I don't play them to be the best in the world anyway though that's neither here nor there so time for me to end this video so I can go and get started for uh, ultra wide on the secondary computer but I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys and until the next video peace out guys